a monkey in your pants? Hi right, guys, this is the first in the series of a Back to the Past. It's basically um, a new part of the, of the channel where we look at, depending on what date it is, um, we look back in the past or back, and we go back to the past, if you like, and see what relevant computer games were released on that day and basically have a quick overview of them. The first game I chose is actually probably, the, I think, possibly one of the f earliest Spectrum games I ever saw or ever played. Um, it's Cauldron. Um, released in 1985 on April the 2nd. It was released by a British developer called Palace Software. Basically the idea behind the game is a two-dimensional shoot 'em up platformer game if you like. Um, as you can see on the screen there you've got your hags which is your life, you've got your magic that goes down each time you get a hut. Um, you can also shoot with a spell dust if you like out the front of your broom to defeat the enemies but each time you fire that your magic goes down as well so it takes away your energy the idea of the game is um, you're after a golden broom and to get this golden broom you have to go into each different cave or cavern and collect one of six ingredients once you collected the six ingredients you can get the golden broom and defeat the pump king did you get that pump king but um, so you basically go into one of these rooms grab the ingredient fly back to your little hovel house put the ingredient in the pot and then go out and search for another ingredient but you basically need to get colour coordinated keys for each cavern or cave section um, and sometimes they're a bit tricky to find obviously they're, they're hidden down below etc but you can you're flying along there as you can see in the screen flying along um, dodging enemies dodging birds etc but you can only land in certain landing areas as you can see there we're at one right there land there walk along the left grab that purple key which will allow us to gain access to the purple cavern but it's actually it's known as a quite a hard game um, I remember playing it when I was a child and I was like Jesus Christ this game's a bit hard but um, they did release a, a follow up to the game which was, was quite different but it was a lot easier but um, once, you, once you get into these cavern sections, once you get a key and get into a cavern, it basically the game then changes like you're no longer flying about, it's, it's more of a platform game. But again, it is brick hard as you can see here. Um, just trying to navigate these platforms etc. is a bit of a nightmare to say the least. So quite a, a, a basic spectrum game if you like. Um, obviously 48k, very little sound etc no music to it but um, it's, it's one of the earlier games you know you've got quite a bit of colour clash but at the same time it's quite a fun game certainly worth checking out especially if you've um, if you're into your spectrum gaming hardcore and, and you've never played this game I'd say play it at least so you've played it um, it seems to be reasonably hard to pick up nowadays currently on ebay there's maybe three copies not not expensive as such. You're looking at about three ninety nine plus postage, something like that. That's uh, great British pounds, obviously. But yeah, it's it's a good game. And check it out, guys. But uh, this is the first in the series of Back to the Past. Thanks for watching.